of Cherry Blossom family. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry. And you might be able to tell I've got a little bit of a cold going on. Um, I actually uh, have coronavirus, <laughs> which is crazy. So if you hear me like breathing funny or anything along those lines, that's why. Um, I don't know how I got it. Um, all I have to say is I'm okay like I want to make sure you guys know I'm a full week in to my diagnosis and they basically said like if you haven't if it hasn't gotten worse or it hasn't gotten bad then you're gonna be okay so I'm very fortunate we don't really know where it came from but I just <laughs> really quick when I say something I have been one of those people when I have gone out in public I have constantly worn a mask I have been super careful I have washed my hands often and I'm not excessively going out into public and I contracted it so I'm just here to tell you like literally the only way for you not to get it is to stay at home so um, I'm just very fortunate because I have really bad asthma that I didn't get it in a bad way so thank goodness but anyway it's not about that I'm not not here for a pity party I feel fine um, I'm very very fortunate so I'm here to show you guys an incredible haul of all of these things that I've kind of accumulated over the last few months and I have everything from like handbags to artwork to clothing to you name it so I'm I'm just excited to be able to share this with you today. We are going to start with what I'm wearing, and I'm wearing something from Cakeworthy. So Cakeworthy, for those of you who don't know, create Disney licensed shirts, uh, flannel shirts I think they're mainly known for, I would say, in these all over print shirts. And they also have some really, really, really cool dresses that they make with Disney prints. They have a really awesome alien one. Everything that I'm going to show in this haul, if it's still available, I will link it down below. But let's take a look at this shirt. This is for the Pokemon. Pocahontas 25th anniversary which was on June 23rd. It's got Miko, Grandmother Willow, Pocahontas, Flit and I think it is so pretty. I love the coloring. I think the uh, teal is just so pretty and I'm yeah I'm jazzed about this new shirt to add to my collection. I think that Cake Worthy has been really like knocking it out of the park when it comes to different all over print shirts. Their last one that I purchased was the Cinderella all over print of the uh, sewing scene. Amazing. <laughs> that came out for Cinderella's 70th. But I actually think that this is still available so I will link it down below. But let's go into the next shop. The next item I'm going to show you is from a small shop on Etsy and I fell in love with this design. I actually pre-ordered this design. I don't know if they still have it there's a good possibility that they might so i will definitely link that small shop down below but guys i am obsessed with this shirt it is a unisex shirt and it is prince eric and ariel during their wedding and then we've got daddy hashtag daddy uh, daddy at the bottom with all of his daughters and I just think this is so beautiful and it's got little hearts and seashells and everything around it's very stylized and I just love this it's got scuttle on there I think it's so adorable so I'm so excited to add this to my shirt collection of Little Mermaid it's I I think it's super cute it'd be perfect with like shorts or something to go into the park and it's really cool because it's already a white t-shirt so two thumbs up from that shop. Yeah, next thing that I'm hauling is a little bit different. I know a lot of you out there are sewers or have a love for customized ears and I purchased some fabric from a small shop. Again, I will um, put the information here and also down below. But they create their own fabric designs and oh my gosh, these designs are incredible. So I have been looking for some more Pixar related designs and 
oh my gosh they did not disappoint so here this fabric is the luxo ball as well as the lamp from Pixar with some Toy Story clouds and are is this gonna make like the most beautiful pair of ears like I could not imagine like wearing these Pixar inspired ears like at Pixar Pier in Disneyland this is a very um, stretchy fabric I am seriously so in love with this fabric. I think it's so pretty. They have a lot of customized fabrics that they make. So this is the first one. And then the second one, now I want to be very clear. I pre-ordered this a long time ago. So I was just now receiving it. It was several months later. But this is their, I need to scoot closer, sorry. This is their Pixar fabric. Oh, that's upside down. <laughs> How incredible is this fabric? It's so gorgeous. It looks like it is sketched. It's got characters from all different Pixar films that we love. We have like Hank and Merida and Hamish Hubert and Harris. What's Merida's brother's names? I think that's right. Her Harris Hubert Hamish. Anyway, um, and then we've got uh, Remy from Ratatouille. We've got Doug from Up. We have Russell from Up. We, I mean, this is just amazing. Wally. Uh, Lotso. Oh, Lotso. I am floored by this fabric. This is going to make the most gorgeous, gorgeous ears. I cannot wait to make them. I definitely will show you on my channel when they are done. But this fabric is almost too beautiful to cut up. I don't know if you're a sewer, but sometimes when you get fabric, you're like, I just can't use it. I'm gonna do my best to use this because it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, ping pong. Next, we're gonna move on to Shop Disney. And oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so tired of Shop Disney right now. They make me so angry. I just opened a box that I was doing for a box swap and I ordered this beautiful mug and it was so broken, you couldn't even tell that it was a mug. <laughs> like I, I picked up the box and it sounded like jingle bells. And I was like, oh no. And it, it literally, the, the largest piece of mug that's left is probably an inch and a half. And this is after I just received a pin that was damaged in a completely different shipment. I mean, Shop Disney, if you're having the same problem, I know that a lot of people are, but I have not heard any kind of positive stories coming from Shop Disney shipping. I don't know what their problem is. But man, they are obviously increasing their volume of what's being put out and they really, really need to take care of their, um, how they're shipping things. It's just crazy. Like the pin that I received actually was in a box that was like yay big, no bubble wrap whatsoever. It was just loose in there, just like slamming around and it was broken and oh my gosh, I not very happy with Shop Disney, but I did get two things from Shop Disney that I'm very happy with. Luckily, they are plush, so they can't really get damaged. <laughs> but firstly, I want to start with this adorable shirt. So I love Chip and Dale. I think they are the cutest together. And this shirt was $12.99 on sale. And I thought this shirt was just so cute. Look at them hugging. Oh, I could use a Chip and Dale hug right now. I love hugging those little guys in the parks. And I just think their little faces are so cute. Now, this is a large. Um, when I was reading the comments about, I'm sorry, not the comments, the reviews about this shirt, it said it is very large. It is. I mean, I would consider this to even be like a women's fitted XXL, but it is a size large. So if you're going to buy this guy, just make sure to size down. I typically wear a fitted women's shirt extra, extra large, and I got a large, and it's still pretty pretty big. But honestly, I would rather it be too big than too little. Um, so it doesn't really bother me. The back is all white. So it's kind of interesting. So it's got a printed front. 
and like a white back and it does have I don't know if this is picking up but yeah it's kind of like a little bit see-through not in a bad way like it's not terrible but you would have to wear like tan or your skin tone undergarments just because it would show through uh, pretty greatly but yeah so $12 shirt I think it's adorable I'm so excited to wear it I always feel that Chippendale kind of scream fall to me so I will probably be wearing that in the fall maybe with like a little sweater or something over it but next from shop Disney I love this item when they came out with this item I freaked out a little bit mainly because it has some accents that are so retro rainbow and I love a retro rainbow but it is the plush Winnie the Pooh bag and yes he is three-dimensional and is so very fluffy so his nose is an orange material, but I will say his little eyeballs and his little eyebrows, they are embroidered in orange. I don't know if that'll pick it up. Oh yeah, there we go. So you can see kind of the difference, but oh my gosh, how precious is he? He is so, so soft. And his coloring of the handles is this really cool vintage rainbow. Like, I feel like this should be, wouldn't this be amazing if this was a figment face and it had this? Disney, call me. <laughs> Um, but here we go. So here is the long strap. It is crossbody, which I love. Again, with that same retro rainbow pattern. And then it does have a zipper pull. And the zipper pull is so cute. It says honey and it's in all of these like little pastel colors. It's like a faux leather. Let me open it up and show you the inside. Because it's incredible. <laughs> So we always talk about like Loungefly having like the most amazing insides of their bags. Well, Oh My Disney is giving them a run for their money. Can we talk about the inside of this bag? It is amazing. <laughs> Look at Eeyore, Piglet, Pooh. And uh, I thought Tigger was in there. Oh, they're missing Tigger. Or Tigger may not be on the print that I have inside of my bag, but it's got the Oh My Disney tag on the inside, obviously created by Oh My Disney. Oh My Disney is doing such a great job in creating some really cool pieces for the Disney store, so nice job, guys. This guy was $49.99. I did get him a little bit on sale. I think I got him 20% off, so if anyone wants to do the math for me, it would cost that much. So yeah, here's my Winnie the Pooh bag. Something I will say is I have had some experience with plush bags in the parks. I will say you need to be 100% sure that you will not get rain on the day that you go into the park or this bag will be ruined. Um, when I went to Tokyo, I had several of those plush uh, little lanyard things. Uh, what are they called? Pass holders. Jeez Louise. Pass holders. And when it rained, it really ruined them. I just like could never get them kind of restored back to what it was. And this fabric is the exact same. So just be cognizant of that. If you are going to take this into the park, make sure that it is not going to rain. This one might be a good Disneyland bag since Disneyland, it doesn't rain that often. Whereas Disney World, it rains about every day. So anyway, Winnie the Pooh bag, love it. Think it's so cute. Next, we are going to move on to Hot Topic. Now at Hot Topic, I recently went there. I had so much fun. If you're not following me on Instagram, be sure to go over there and follow me at Miss Jessie Cherry. We went through and I just took lots of fun video of what was new in our store and what they had coming from Disney, which I thought was really fun. And you guys gave me a lot of feedback about how you really enjoyed that. So I'll be doing that again, obviously, when I'm fully restored and healthy again. Start with two patches. So um, if you've watched my <laughs> channel for any period of time, you've heard me talk about my patch chair. I have a patch chair that I created in my sewing room. I'll link it um, up above for you guys to check out if you haven't seen that video. But I got two patches. I got this really hilarious, I love ghosts, so I got this really silly ghost with like, a little knife. I don't know why he just spoke, with, spoke to me. So I ended up getting him, but this iron-on patch is like the creme de la creme. He was $6, and I think Slinky Dog looks so adorable in this. I am such a huge fan of that ride. If you're a big fan of the ride, let me know down below. I just, 
it just makes me so happy. So he's an iron-on patch. He's going to go perfectly onto my patch chair. I can't wait to add him. And what I've been doing is I've actually been accumulating a lot of patches again and just kind of saving them and keeping them for when it's time for me to add them to my patch chair. So I will probably be making like a volume two video of that video where we add all of these guys that I am starting to accumulate again since I did not have enough, which is crazy. <laughs> the next thing that I purchased is this very, very silly t-shirt. Let me take off this sticker because it's right in the center. And it is for the Mulan, uh, the new live action Mulan. It says Dishonor on you, your family, and your cow, and it has little check marks. And I got this in a uh, unisex extra large because I wanted to be able to wear it to bed. I just thought it was adorable. And this guy was $22.90, but I will say they were having a sale where I think it was buy one, get one 30% off. So I ended up getting a second shirt, a second shirt from there that I thought was just so cool. So this is just, I love it. I'm so floored by it. This is a Mulan shirt and it does have like Mulan's comb. It is a tank top, but we need to see the back because that's where like the rubber meets the road here. Check out this sword in the back of this shirt. How stunning is this? And then it has like a little drapery that's happening in the back. I am in love. Like how badass is this shirt? Like I cannot wait to wear this to work out and like look like a, like a warrior or something. <laughs> I'm not that great at working out guys. <laughs> but this was $29.90. And again, this was 30% off or one of them was 30% off. I'm in love, in love with this. And actually, I did post this on my Instagram story and several of you had said that you are tank top twins with me. So if you also purchase this, you'll have to let me know down below. We can be tank top warrior twins. <laughs> Next thing is not Disney related. However, I know a lot of you also share a love of drag race uh, like I do. And I ended up getting this uh, Funko Pop of Sharon Needles, a spooky queen who I absolutely love. She is from season four and she is wearing this like little black outfit and she has got fishnet stockings and she's carrying a little pumpkin and she's got all of her tattoos. I love the details in this. I never thought I would be getting this. I was shocked actually that my Hot Topic still had this. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I might eventually be able to get Alaska, who is my favorite drag queen. So fingers crossed on that. But I love me some Sharon Needles. So I'm super into this Funko Pop. I have a bunch of Funko Pops that are non-Disney that I put like on my movie shelves in my little game room over here. So she is going to be added to my movie shelf. I'm an out of box collector, but I'm just going to keep her in the box for right now. And yeah, she is a Hot Topic exclusive and I paid $12.50 for her. The next item that I got at Hot Topic, another popular item on the Instagram stories that I showed you guys was this holographic print of the old hag and the evil queen from Snow White. Now, I got this for $7. It was buy one, get one, 50% off clearance. So this was clearanced at $7. Originally, it was $18.90. And I actually got several of these because I'm planning on doing a Halloween giveaway because so many of you loved this that I thought it would just be fun to go ahead and send some out to you guys. <laughs> so be on the lookout for a Halloween giveaway coming up and this really is so cool this is gonna be like the best Halloween decoration ever I think how cool is that and the image really is just so clear and so pretty and as you can see there's like a crow in the background and then the castle is also there and she's got the poisoned apple and then the apple Oh, I'm just in love with this. This is so cool. It was definitely worth the $7. Um, I cannot wait to decorate with this when it comes to Halloween time. And then finally, we are moving on to Box Lunch. And I just have like a reusable grocery bag that we kept everything in from Box Lunch. 
So firstly, I want to start with these super duper cool hair accessories. So these were $10.90 and there is a bobby pin that says Ohana and then a barrette that has stitch. I thought these were so adorable and a fun way to kind of show uh, your love of Disney in a little bit different way outside of ears. So I'm super duper into this. I've got a really cute summertime tied t-shirt that I got from Hot Topic that says Ohana on it and has stitch surfing and I thought that these would be perfect to go along with it so some barrettes and then I couldn't leave just get stitched because they also had a Mickey Mouse I don't know if you guys do that but <laughs> I'm one of those people that I'm like if I like something I get it in every color so I ended up getting Mickey as well but I love how versatile this one is just because I feel like any time you wear anything Disney, Mickey or um, a Mickey Mouse head silhouette will definitely go with it. This again was $10.90. The next item I purchased was actually on clearance and the reason why I got it was because I thought it would go perfectly on my pin board with Ursula because it is flotsam and jetsam. And this is an actual keychain of them but it's got coral and like kind of reef uh, around them which I think is really cool and it is from the Disney Villains Loungefly collection so this is a loungefly it I can't tell how much it was originally I think it was eight dollars and ninety cents and it ended up um, it was on the clearance rack for six dollars and ninety nine cents but what I was planning on doing was kind of taking off the large keychain circle and then just kind of hanging it on my pin board because I thought this was a pretty epic pin I mean they could have made this a pin and I I think it would have been stunning I like that it does have the uh, gunmetal gray as the metal so it's not like super duper shiny which I appreciate it does have like trademark Disney on the back but yeah a little flotsam and jetsam keychain I've never seen this before so this was really cool and I cannot wait to add it to my pin board. The next thing that I am adding to my collection is a two Funko Pops. The first Funko Pop is the fairy godmother from Cinderella and this is for Cinderella's 70th. We're just gonna get her out because I want to see what she looks like. And why I purchased these two, I mean I love the movie Cinderella, it's my mom's favorite movie, but I really wanted some fun Funko Pops to go into my craft room because I think that when I think of the Bippity Boppity's boo scene and when I think of Cinderella, I always think of the sewing scenes and so I definitely wanted to add them into my craft room because I thought they would be so appropriate in there and I do think I'm going to glitter this one because doesn't she like isn't this periwinkle color so beautiful like wouldn't it be great if I could add some like beautiful glitter to it I think she would look so stunning she's got her little fairy wand and I think she is just so cute I love her and I paid $10.90 for her and then the second Funko Pop I got was Cinderella in her pink dress which is my favorite dress of hers and it's the one that the mice and the birds created for her and let's go ahead and take it out so here she is she's got a white headband with a little heart or a little uh, bow on the top and then she is wearing her pink dress with all all of the ribbons and bows she's also wearing if you can peep in there she's wearing her teal beads which Gus Gus love that scene the ooh beads scene <laughs> those are from uh, him and then I will show you kind of like don't look up her skirt guys but um, she <laughs> she is wearing these uh, magenta beautiful high-heeled shoes again I think that this one would be really beautiful to glitter as well so I might be adding that to a project that I want to do but here she is and these Funkos are not special edition or anything they were just for her 70th anniversary they're not box lunch exclusives or anything like that I just happened to get them at box lunch and then the final item I got it is a Mermaid Lagoon wallet from Peter Pan. Now I do have this lounge fly and it does have like a dangling Peter Pan. It's so beautiful. I've shown it on my Instagram story. I'm not sure if I've actually shown it. I might, I'll, I'll grab it down in just a second. 
but here is the mermaid lagoon wallet it is a wristlet which i love because sometimes you don't need your entire backpack and the inside is matching to the backpack so and the inside is really beautiful it's like seaweed it's got little sea stars in there as well and this is a new design I've never seen before. So it's got a zip on the, this side. And then the back side has a flap that is a button. So you unbutton it. And then it is like a typical wallet. So it's got your cards on one side, a place to put your money here. And then on the back, it does have like a little coin purse. And then it does have an embroidered sea star and seashell and seaweed there as well. But I think that this mermaid is absolutely stunning. Something that I will uh, point out is that her seashells are embroidered as well as like her little sea stars and her fins so it is like that coated canvas but there are some embroidered details which I think makes it really dynamic and really beautiful this while it was $39.90 and I love it <laughs> since I haven't shown this on my channel before I did want to show you this is the backpack that actually is the matching um the matching piece to that wallet it does have a dangly Peter Pan it is a little bit different than your standard lounge fly. The, the size is different. It doesn't have your side pockets. Just imagine real life mermaids there. And it's got <laughs> silver hardware. Everything matches just perfectly. And then the inside again is that seaweed and a sea star. And I, this is my most favorite new backpack that I've gotten from Loungefly. I think it's super unique and beautiful. And I have been wearing it a lot and I've gotten so many compliments on it. So if you also have this backpack, you'll have to let me know down below if we are backpack twins. That is gonna conclude this majorly huge haul. I feel like I've been talking forever if you made it to the end of this thank you so much for staying with me i love you guys so much if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up also be sure to subscribe down below leave me a comment let me know down below what your most favorite item that you recently have purchased that is disney related is i want to know and i hope you have the most magical day and i will see you in the next video ttfn bye